Today you have to touch the area that will give you dominion. And as you have heard, the public is trying to bless beyond the cause. We are going to take it in diverse direction. So that we don't just go in a runner's way like many take their place and their place. And then you care about living a righteous kind of life and feel nothing will happen to them because they are blessed. It is of a fact that you are blessed without a cause. And let's look at it from the Bible and few examples that as God will give us to express. Let, no matter what happened in their life, they don't compromise. They don't try to plan B because we only have A and B. God is A. Satan is B. promises of God in your heart you are sure that it's bound to be a fulfillment why? because he has never failed the people of old and even the ones you had asked him for in the time past he did not fail you the hope expands and your blessing remains let's look at Psalm 30 verse 5, Psalm 30, verse 5, he said, for his anger endured but a moment, in his favor is life, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning, now look at, go back to the life of the children of Israel, I said, they were like a wave, like this, like this, like this, Every time they sin against God, you know what happened in the camp? Many people will die. The few that remain will run back to God. Are you with me? Do not let anybody deceive you that you can live anyhow and see stay beyond a cause. Most of the life we do we live attract causes. It attract causes. If you look at where the children of Israel started having problems, that's what I said in the morning. He said, just like Balak fell threatened by the progressive move of the children of Israel to reach the promised land, so is your enemy feeling threatened by your progress in life. Don't feel that we are talking about the children of Israel only. Remember how Balak consulted uh, the prophet Balaam. He said, Come, I have had the exploit of these people. Come, cause them for me, but eventually I will prevail. Did Balak had interaction with the children of Israel? No. Did the children of Israel attack him? No. That is why you should be careful. Don't wait until problem come before you start praying. Don't wait until trouble knock on your door. You start fasting. Why the children of Israel were camping far away? The enemy was looking for a way to cause them. Do you know why? Because a cause is invoking both spiritual and physical forces to work against you. And whereby all the forces are working against you, any step your enemy takes, he succeeds. Why the blessing is the opposite? Invoking all the spiritual and physical forces to work in your own favor. So while you are relaxing, the enemy is planning how to place a cause on you so that we will render you powerless. So 
that anything they do will now lead to your destruction. Balak taught that the only way to conquer the children of Israel so that they will not destroy them is by cursing them. Your enemy also think the same way. No matter how small that your salary is in your office, there is somebody that is not happy that you are collecting even that small one. No matter how old that cloth you are wearing, so long as you take time to iron it and wear it, there is somebody that is angry that you are even wearing that old one. Seeing a smile on your face, there is somebody that is angry that like, why is he happy? Why is he happy? Is he the only one? So you don't wait and sing as a chorus and bless me beyond a cause. No. Even Jesus, when he came, he said, I must do the work the Father sent me. Why? It is day because night cometh when no man can walk. If you don't walk out the sustenance of your blessing by living right, night cometh where you cannot walk. The moment the lion grabs the truth of any animal is there anything that will save that animal so the best thing is to be wise enough to stay far away from the lion let's move on don't forget at every point that what the action of the enemy means is to render you powerless. The devil knows very well when you fast and pray, you are spiritually superior to him. He knows very well when you live right that there is no way any enchantment against you can work. Eh? What did John 10, 10 say? John 10 verse 10. He said, The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. But the people said what? He said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundant. Now put the two together. The devil is not trying to render you powerless so that you become humble. He is not trying to bring humility to you. The Bible says it here, clear, that it comes in to steal your joy, to steal your resources, to destroy everything that makes you happy, and at the end, to kill. So why would you leave room? Why will you leave room for the devil to penetrate your territory? Now, if you move forward, you will discover the counsel of Bala. To Bala came to play after some years. Because after they have tried to cause the children of Israel and they could not, they now settle down to study just like your enemy is studying everything you do. He said, what is that thing that could make their God to leave them? Isaiah 59 verse 1. Isaiah 59 verse 1. What does he say? 1 to 2. He said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. All 
right? The Lord God is not shouting that he cannot say. Neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But what happened? He said, but your iniquity has separated between you and your God. Now, that is for how do I sustain my blessing? But I want to accomplish something before we get there. The counsel that Balaam and Balak had gave them the opportunity not to disturb the camp of the children of Israel in form of war. But what did they do? They infiltrated their camp to ensure that all those things their God hates, they will go ahead to do. Are you getting it? The moment the enemy lure you into sinning against your God, is causing a separation between you and God. And once you are separated, that's the end. Have you watched uh, the way the lions attack? If you are watching Nigel Wild, you see. When they are moving plenty, the lion will not attack. They will crawl, the one that is left behind. Immediately they start the attack. All others will be running to the front. If it is three, four lions, they will target that one. And it cannot be free. They have gotten their meal. So try as much as you can to know who you are. If you don't know what your boss love in the office, that office is a temporary office for you. True or false? Because one day, anything about the reshoving, whatever, you'll be the first to go. Even if you are the best now. Why? You fail to understand the environment you walk. As a child of God, if you don't know who you are in Christ, you become vulnerable to any attack. Actually, you are blessed, but you can equally still perish. But none of us will perish in Jesus' name. I say none of us will perish in Jesus' name. Don't give me that sad look. When you live right, every time you see yourself smiling. Is it not so? You go out in your business, you succeed that day. You are be singing for what you did not buy for the past maybe one or two years to your family. You buy double. Is it not so? So it's the same thing. Spiritually, when you live right, you are happy. And that happiness reflects in the physical. The day you dive into the sin that is despicable for a child of God, you see yourself cry every minute. Even when there is nobody. Now let's look at how do I sustain my blessing? Number one, say, have faith in God. Know that he that started the good work in you will be what? He will be faithful to complete that same good work. Look at Genesis 15. Genesis 15, 5 to 6. Genesis 15, 5 to 6. He said, And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now towards heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness. 
there is nothing as powerful as you having your trust in God. It takes over every of your battle. He believed that I can do it, so let me show that I can do it for him. I can do it for her. I said, Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. If you don't live the kind of life God like, you cannot believe God. Right? When people say, I pray, I pray, I pray, have you sat back to be analyze the way you are living, the way you are praying? What is the motive of your prayer? To receive the blessing and let's show them that you too can happen. That not be only one person this thing can flow to. Think about it. Your trust, your belief in God translates to righteous life. And that sustain your blessing. Because once he calls you and you walk with him, you are definitely going to end in a successful way. But if he bless you, you say, after I am blessed, you walk as you like, go anywhere you like. Walk into the lion's tents. He will not put hand there to remove you. Except there's a special blessing he wanted to teach you there. Are you getting me? Number two. If you live a righteous life, now this, in this direction, he said, always run away from sin. Free, free from every resemblance of evil. Let's, that is where we had that Isaiah. 59 1 to 2. He said, The hand of God is not shut. Right? The same power God had does not change. The same love God had does not change. The compassion He had from the beginning still remained the same. Nothing changed in God. The only thing that changed is we. Because we have not taken our absolute stand to walk with God, to worship God, to be under His commandment. So God is still doing the good thing. You might see the congregation of two, three hundred people. He's still relating very well with maybe five. Not because he's being partial. He said, if you draw night to me, what would I do? I also draw night to you. So the few that draw closer to God will be experiencing the exploit. Number three. Always restitute your ways. But eventually you fall into sin. Or remember old sin. You want your blessing to stay? Restitute your way. Now I was talking about Balak receiving counsel. And then leaving the children of Israel to be on their own. But they sent beautiful images. The true parties. When you are attending parties, be careful. Some of the parties are the trap for the devil. Some they will all serve you with juice or pure wine. But inside, eh, you may not know what is inside. 
you can drink a, a glass of five alive and sleep till the next day. Maybe you, you used to trouble to sleep for three hours a night. You see yourself sleeping beyond 24 hours. Whatever the enemy had planned to do with you, he will finish it before you wake up. Do you even know what I said? He just woke up from sleep. Is the man that said uh, he did not have the announcement of that there was fasting. Please don't say amen to everything you hear from the altar. Listen so that you say the right amen that will help you. He's a bad boy. I remember when I was at his age, when we were playing band. He when they want to start preaching, that's when we go and cool off. Because why would they were singing and dancing, we were sweating. He has a pastor carry Bible to the pulpit. We we'll go out. That's where we we'll put the unbutton ourselves and be fanning ourselves. In short, if it is for occasion, that is the period they serve us food. So that before we finish eating, time for music has come again. So we are interacting very well in the church, but we are not hearing the main thing. That the man was not supposed to come. May God counter that amen on your behalf in Jesus' name. So please, why in that process, some of the children of Israel started, let me use this straight, sleeping with the Amorite. Now, where the restitution comes in, Numbers 25. Numbers 25, verse 11 to 12. Numbers 25, 11 to 12. It says, Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, had torn the my rod away from the children of Israel. Why did he turn the rod? Let's read further. He said, Why he was zealous for my sake among them. And I consume not the children of Israel in my jealousy. Therefore say, Behold, give unto him my covenant of peace. What did he do? He took a javelin. When you go back read that chapter from the beginning, the person that was fornicating, he, said he drove the javelin from the top to the one down. He the two of them together and he died and God said because he has done that the rod that he was packaged to destroy the children of Israel because as at that moment there was a separation one person when the people of Israel suffer the attack of I how many people one person, Ekan, alone, stole. He took those things that God said they should not take. But how many people died? So be careful. You can be the reason why your children die. You can be the reason why your business is going down. You can be the reason why things are not working the way they are supposed to work for you. And you start thinking of one which a wizard in the village. He said immediately he did that. God see it as a restitution, making right what was wrong. So in any way, I always use this work. Self appraiser is very important for a child of God. After every day, sit back. What are those things I have done wrong for today? What are those things that I have done right? The one that you have done right, you will encourage yourself. The one that are wrong, separate yourself from them. You cannot feel guilty of a right thing you do. It is always the negative one. Anywhere that cement right unto you, you know very well that before God, they are not right. Flee from them. Restitute your ways. There is nothing you do that God does not know until 
you make right that which you have done wrong your blessing cannot be beyond a cause we know very well that are cause that are causeless the cause can only be causeless when there is a God that is supreme behind you and you are living right they lied against Joseph whatever they did was working for his own good he was driving him to his dream but when you go and do something bad you come and say yeah, the, the lies against uh, Joseph led to his blessing your own will not lead are you with me we have to say it the way it is so that by, by the time you walk into the lion tent you will not say you did not know the Bible says it very clear. In the days of ignorance, what happened? God overlooked. But the moment you know what is good and you go towards the bad one, you will not say the grace cover me. Must we continue in sin? I grace about. On a normal thing, you were expecting me to say. Ah, you are blessed beyond a cause. You are blessed beyond a cause. You are blessed beyond a cause. And we close the sermon. And you go back home. You don't see anything that reflects blessing. You say the pastor is not spiritually sound. But when you apply wisdom which is the right application of knowledge the first knowledge is how much do you know about the attributes of god you worship say they said when you know the truth now the truth will set you free is it not true when you know your god you will know that if i do this one my god will not like it if I do the other one, my God will be happy with me. And once God is happy with you, you can't imagine the abundant blessing that will follow you. Lastly, it's a foot on the wall always. For those who are teachers, the Bible said, study to see that self approved. Will not be a teacher before you study because every time you read the Bible, you are reading the mind of God, right? Each time you open the word of God, it's telling you about the mind of God, it's telling you about the thought He has towards you, He's telling you the guidance on how you will live a life. That will bring peace, that will bring joy, that will bring blessing, even beyond you to your generation yet unborn. Study the word. There's one of my in-laws. You know, I think I have to be a little bit very casual in speaking here. Please forgive me. Every day they are fighting, quarreling with the husband. Why? Because of the other room. She was believing that she has control of the key to the other room. But when we open Ephesians 5, is it 20 or 22? Submit which we discussed this morning and then we have to also have to explain further to tell her that your body is not your own whatever you have is for your husband whatever your husband has is for you is it true truth are you sure Uncle, are you sure that that is in the Bible? Immediately, I copied the page and paste and sent. It was a WhatsApp discussion. 
from now it takes some years eh? before I hear any quarrel concerning the other room because the truth came and the truth said the bondage that was creeping into that marriage free I'm not saying they might not have one or two issues but if you look at the 90% of the real wahala comes from the key to the other room once the other room is settled every other issue is settled right it is not pastor that said it will search your mind so please when you study the word there are things that might be a habit you are exhibiting all of a sudden this food naked intercession one of those intercessions is that he will lead you to that bible portion immediately you finish reading you will discover that what you were doing was strong before God and repentance comes and peace and freedom follow Psalm 119 verse 104 to 105 119 104 to 105 it said throw thy precepts precepts through your principle, through your guidelines, through all the things that your word has offered to me. He said, what did you do? I get understanding. Are you there? He said, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. When you understand that this way, might look glistering but it's lead to destruction you will end that way you will head falsehood now the last verse 105 says thy word you know we sing it every now and then thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path let's be on our feet I've said so much. I've said so much concerning this topic. That the mere saying I'm blessed does not make it permanent. But on the side of God is irreversible. But the children of Israel were under an irreversible blessing, but they were still dying. That's why we have to expand shame on it. I want us to pray. Let's bless the name of the Lord this morning. Let's thank Him for the word He has put forth before us. Let's give glory. The word come to give us understanding. Let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's not be glorified in Jesus' name. When you look at our study today, you discover that a mere pronouncement of blessing does not remain permanent. But before God it is established. If he says he will bless you, he will bless you. The only person that will make it ineffective is you. Let's speak to God this morning. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, all the persons moving around to bless me to do evil, so that the blessing in my life will be healed. Let us help me to do that. So that they flee from me. Help me to live right. Help me to have faith in you. Help me to trust in you. So that it will be counted out to me as righteousness. That you have mercy on me. Father, have mercy on me. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. 
are meant to understand that the word is only meant for those who are zealous for Christ, zealous for God. Ask God to give you the grace to always stand by the truth, always stand in reference of Him. But pray now, please. Let's talk to God. Every other activities, even the ushering work, please so, suspend it and pray for yourself. Salvation is personal. Blessings, there are special blessings and there are general blessings. Pray that the special one will come to pick you out that you will stand tall like Joseph, that you will stand tall like Abraham, like Isaac, like Jacob, like all the apostles. And our mentors should belong to the class of the earth we started this morning. Pray that God will meet you out of your previous home and then look your into your salvation. So that you become instrumental in his own kingdom. Ask for divine mercy. Ask for divine mercy. Ask for divine mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, Father, as we step into the second half of this year, everything that will increase my faith. Please draw them closer to me. Draw them closer to me. Because once my faith is strong, it will be counted as righteousness. And once I live right, there is no limit to that which you are doing in my life. And what you are still going to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus mighty name of God. This time around, I'm not saying you are not a worker in the church. You are not a minister, you are not a pastor, you are not a member. I am calling this moment. If you know that deep inside you that your blessing cannot go beyond a cause. I want you to come forward. I want us to pray. We we'll pray for yesterday, and then we we'll pray for the tomorrow to start from now. There is no need to put your hand on your chest. If you are ashamed of him, he said before his father, he will be ashamed of you. For anybody, I want to. Ask. Pray that prayer with me. That God from now on, I want to live beyond the cross. I want to live beyond anything that can stand that you are doing. I am seeing men. Behold, this is a person in your friend and God is for you. My father might be living right. If you are not living right, rapture will carry your father and leave you. If you are not living right, rapture will carry your husband and leave you. There is no rapture now. I am a person. This is a personal thing. Thank God for the brother and sister outside. Please cry out to God this moment. Say, Father, whatever I have done wrong yesterday, please forgive me. Have mercy on me. From this moment, oh God, take me as your own. I give my life back to you. Follow my step. Direct my path. Take care of everything that belongs to me. 
Jesus, my dear, of a friend. Father, specifically, I bless your name concerning your son and your daughter. From this moment, Lord, prove yourself as God in their life. Christ yourself as a savior in their life. Prove yourself as the one that can bless without the cause in their life. Touch them when they need you. Every area of your life. Father, let there be a transformation. Let there be a transformation. Let there be a transformation. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can get back to us. Let's see. Sister Jessie, please can you come back? Church, Sister Jessie has been very committed. When I had the, the news that she was transferred to Obi Kaduna, Niger State, I was sad because when I was cracking people who don't open the media if it is one or two people that will open it will be one of the two she doesn't miss most of the program except something important happened I pray God will cause you to be zealous like that in Jesus name Please, I want all. Uh, please, you can kneel down. Can you kneel down with the baby at the back? All right. Church, stand up. Stop sitting down and looking at me. You are not older than me. Hmm? So my words are my own. Which one is stronger? You are still full. And anyway, I'm still a young boy. Don't, don't, don't mind me. Let's just put our hands towards our sister. Let's decrease some wonderful things into her life. She's moving from where she has friends, where she has brethren in the church, to an environment she's going to start meeting new friends. Let's pray that God will order her step. She will not be close to the enemy. She will not have the wrong person as her confidant. That will lead her to a successful end. God will lead them all through his spiritual means. That the power of the living Christ will gather herself, will gather her path. That even in that area she's going, she will say, Thank God, here is even better than Kano. Her tomorrow will be better than yesterday. She will not go there in ear health. The day of our movement, that God will be the driver of the bed. We shall not hear any evil news concerning her. That the power of the living Christ will be for her in her going out and her coming in. The sun will not speak her by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will be your strong tower from this time. Amen. To remain his wonderful face in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord. Go and prosper there. Go and do us right there. And go and show the people the love of God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Precious saints, we welcome to RCCG NCP TV YouTube channel. We are the undiluted word of the Lord by God's servant, Pastor Etim Omar, our new creature area pastor, brings to you the word of the Lord in its simple form, in its understandable manner, 
so as to articulate the mind of God, so as to come to understand what God is doing in the life of His people, even in your life. The Word of God comes to nurture you so that you will be built, you will grow into the fullness of the measure of the stature of Christ. The Word of God comes so as to build you, develop your faith, and ensure you grow into what God wants and desire for your life. Join us on this platform as we dish out the word of the Lord, the mind of God in its simplest form, where the word of the Lord will be taught to your very understanding. Pastor Etim Umar brings the word of the Lord out of so much research, out of so much study, so that the body of Christ will be built. The body of Christ will come to um, a, a, a standard where we will be able to know what God wants us to do per season, per time. And on this platform, we trust the Lord that your life would not remain the same. Is it deliverance that you need of salvation, seven power of the, of the grace of God, and even in your finance, in your marriages, in your business, just join us. The word of the Lord touches and covers every aspect of your life. On this journey, we trust the Lord to build you into his very fullness. Don't forget, that if you're a new viewer on this channel, we would like you to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so as to stay in touch with our every uploads. We also want you to not just to watch this video don't just get blessed, but also ensure that you share this video to your loved ones, to your family, to your friends, so that they too would get blessed, get lifted, get built, and get matured, building up their most holy faith, even in Christ. Thank you, and God bless you.